Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Americana Gardens. My name is Amanda and today I am visiting the Hershey Orchid Show in Pennsylvania. This is the annual show that Hershey Gardens, yes Hershey as in uh, Chocolate Town or as in the chocolate bar that you may know of, they have an extraordinary garden, public garden that is there and available to the public and occasionally they hold events, well, they, they hold an annual orchid event. And I'm going to share with you some of the most spectacular, spectacular orchids. Show the colors of the flowers, the patterns, the uh, growth habits, uh, and, and just orchids are so much more than the uh, Philanopsis that you see in the grocery stores, will you? But let's take a look at the first one right here. Look at that color. I love that light purple with that long uh, trunk in center and like the roughly leaves. That is stunning. And then it has that dark contrast purple in the center. I did try to get as much labels with the names on them as possible. So if you want to uh, pause the video, please do so you can record the name of a plant that you like. Uh, this one I'm pointing at is because I like how it is situated on, uh, it looks like a tree bark. That's how they naturally grow orchids. And you could just simply spray them with water, the roots that is. Look at those beautiful tiny flowers. That oh, and the, the big showstopper behind them. That was in my uh, first video. This is actually part two. So I will have a link available for the first one that I recorded. Rothschild Inium. Rothschild. I wonder <laughs> if the similar name if it was inspired by that, by the family of Rothschild that is. Look at this pot. That is totally my vibe right there, like that copper rust with the green. Um, I gotta keep an eye out for stuff like that, maybe at like a local thrift store or even um, local artisans might have it. This flower I thought was really stunning. Now they don't really open, they tend to stay in these little balls. Yeah, it's called butterball. Uh, this one has more of a, a chartreuse feel to it. It is a little bit more opened, but I thought like the clusters on the stem, i never seen like a, an orchid so compact like that. Ah, such elegance, <laughs> such elegance. And the purple is and whites. Those are my personal favorite colors and some yellows too. So I am a little biased towards that, but there are some stunning, um, red ones and orange ones that I will show if that is more of your color palette. I love the freckles on this Phalaenopsis. <laughs> That's what I call. I call them the freckles. This display I thought was really interesting because in the vase uh, they have the orchids with the roots, you can see they're bare there, but you can actually fill the bottom of that with some water, not have the roots sitting in the water, but just enough to make like a humidity dome and uh, the, the orchid will thrive. That is something I'm actually going to do in my own personal collection, I'm going to try it out, so if you want to hit subscribe, I will definitely be doing future videos uh, with orchids. And this one is for the color lover lovers, the yellows, the reds. Uh, they definitely had some really neat foliage there too. Uh, and this is, uh, come on, get in and focus. There we go. Uh, some, a cluster of delicate orchid flowers. Very stunning. And there's a whole bunch of spiders on that shelf or some type of pests. I don't know. Something hatched. <laughs> 
Oh, there's another bright one. Yellow and bright pink. Kind of reminds me of like a Miami. I don't know, I'm getting Miami vibes from that flower. <laughs> I really should go down there and do some of the tropics. Now, one of my main goals of the uh, this channel is to travel throughout the United States and uh, showcase the local flora and uh, maybe some of the wildlife, but also how just people interact with the flora. That's long-term goals, long-term goals. Right now I do orchid sh like shows like this. I do visit gardens, uh, but more locally. I'm in Pennsylvania, by the way. Beautiful yellow, buttery yellow color. And I love orchids that just have that branching. It's just, it's a real showstopper. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I know it focuses on the ground, but oh, look at this one right here. Excuse my socks and sandals, okay? It, it's a story, it's a long story. Uh, the foliage on that though, and then we have those white blooms with the uh, yellow interior. Yeah, I love the foliage love it. I mean, the, the orchid is stunning in all itself, the flower, and then when you pair it with these types of, or, um, with these types of foliage that are uh, multicolored and have patterns, instead of just like a solid green, uh, it adds so much more interest. Yeah. Gosh, th these flowers are so healthy and beautiful. And there I am touching it. <laughs> I got yelled at by some lady because I was touching it. And she didn't, like, they weren't her flowers. And I was being gentle. Oh, there's my niece. She uh, is actually in a few videos with me. She's a gardener. I brought her with me. You gotta start them young, you know? Look how wild that coloring is on that. That is just so unique. So, um, by the way, guys, I actually had to, oh, yeah, look at that, that big cup, if you will, I love those, <laughs> Sundance, definitely sunny inspired, but, um, what I was going to mention was that I actually had to, slow, this is more technical for editing, I actually had to, uh, slow down the frame in editing because, there were so many people there that I, you know, I kind of had to keep moving. I didn't want to hog up the space and not let other people enjoy it. So uh, when I came home, I actually just I slowed down the frame. So that's why you're kind of seeing this. Those are unique colors. That chartreuse green and that red. That was different. More freckles. <laughs> I really don't know the like anatomy of the orchid itself, but it's something that I would really like to improve on my knowledge of uh, the anatomy of plants. I guess so I could sound more scientific. But <laughs> look at that. Well, this was like one of my favorite displays. I think they're called flying that. Um, they're flying oh, look at that though. I would just want my my room to be like that. My plant room, that is. I, this was my favorite display because of the color contrast, um, the texture contrast. It was really, really well thought out and planned well and executed well. Some more ruffly ones. Uh, my niece called this like the like the sunny side up egg, like with the ruffles and white and the yellow interior kind of reminds her of an egg. <laughs> This was interesting because the Unchained Melody and Yara. Hmm. Uh, this was interesting because the the stems for the boom were like really uh, compacted with the uh, foliage, the green foliage there, and you don't typically see orchids like that. It was a lovely plant. Yeah, looking at some. Different foliage here. You see, they have that dark green on the right and like green on the left. There's some more uh, mustard and ketchup colors for you 
bright colored lovers. Oh, that's so elegant with that white. So elegant. <laughs> I did end up picking up a uh, white orchid. Oh, look at that with the, uh, the foliage and then the blooms. I mean, the foliage has freckles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a beauty right there. That is a beauty. Uh, what I was saying is I did end up picking up an all-white orchid, and I have it on a display. And I will send a uh, share a picture on um, the community post and also in future videos. So if you want, hit subscribe. Oh, this is tropical vibes right here. That's like pure Hawaiian tropical vibes that is just not that apricot pinky peachy interior with the yellow and the white petals on the outside stunning after dark yeah I had to get a dark foliage shot and I am a sucker for uh, dark plants, usually dark foliage though, uh, but this is like, a, it reminds me of like a cherry, a dark cherry, and that just cascades down, really beautiful, uh, definitely a statement piece, uh, I love this one, it has like that pouch on it. It, it, I don't know the technical name of it, but if somebody knows, put it in the comments, that way I can um, address it properly. Again with the foliage there, looks really neat. Oh, I these are so cool. Just trying to get into focus. There you go. Yeah, because this is slowed down a little bit, it takes a little bit longer for it to focus. But yeah, those were stunning. I do want to keep speaking because I want to keep you guys engaged, but at the same time, it's like, I kind of want to be quiet because I know the flowers are so breathtaking and I don't want to distract from the flowers. And hopefully I'm not. So hopefully my narration is okay. This was different because I never seen a striped orchid foliage in my life and they had it this one more roughly foliage or blooms my niece is smelling them some of them actually have a, a, an aroma there's one that actually smells like a chocolate and I thought that was the one but it looks very similar but it's not it white and the greens just like screaming spring <laughs> I uh, it's February in Pennsylvania it's cold it's dark you know midwinter so any color is good in my eyes oh and this was this was definitely different this crestwood tomorrow's star the orchids definitely look like a star but the, the the way the compact foliage is it kind of reminds me of an aloe fan i thought that was really neat yeah wow some nice coloring with these have that light purple and then almost like a deep deep maroon just transition right over to these ones. Oh, that, that was stunning. Here's some more, but like a lighter color. Again, with the foliage, this is like a jewel orchid, I believe you would call it. There's a name. Utsia discolor. Yeah, so a, a jewel orchid. Neat foliage. Foliage. 
I know I may say foliage sometimes, but it's foliage. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's hard to break a habit like once you started it, you know. Lots of first place winners in here. Oh, and can I just like take all these plants home with me and just put them in my plant room? I like how they use a log for display, different hanging methods. Like I said, they naturally grow on trees, most of them. Another type of drupal orchid, with, but with a chartreuse green. And that light veining. There's another pouch one. I love, I love that. It has the freckles inside of it. Very cute. I think this year is going to be like the year of the succulents and cacti and orchids for me. I, I'm, I'm just vibing with those early on so I think I'm going to really execute a lot of them in my plant room so stay tuned for that. And orchid blooms by the way, they last for months, months. I know you might see like a hefty price tag, especially like the Philanopsis ones like in the yeah, big box stores or grocery stores, but they last for months, like at least three months in bloom if they are taken care of decently. And you don't let them dry out. They love the humidity, um, but as long as you keep, oh, hold on, this looks, this is like a pale blueberry color with white interior. Oh, I, I have never seen anything like that. Never. Um, that's a different structure of an orchid there. I thought that was, that was neat. When you look at these fine details, they just make you appreciate the plant more. All right, well, that is it. And thank you everybody for tuning in and don't forget to hit subscribe, like, all that jazz. And um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.